Modern women thrive on the idea that they are inherently better than males. From an early age, they are trained to believe that they should live lives freed from restrictions and that males should circle around them in order to provide them with unrestricted attention and approval. Much of that has altered during the past several years. Why? Because women don't do anything for men or contribute anything significant to the table except for the rare intimate encounters that keep them captivated and pining after them. Men have begun to recognize how unfair it is for them to be expected to do everything for women. This is why more and more men have started to avoid women and ignore dating them as well. As expected, women have become desperate and can't understand why men are not talking to them at the workplace, at the gym, at school, and in general. A modern woman thinks from her ego rather than from a place of understanding when a guy ignores her. She believes she is being treated unfairly, but is unaware that in the past, she was just accustomed to receiving free time, attention, and approval from males. She doesn't understand that men are not required to approach them, pursue them, or enter into controlling relationships with them. Allowing the woman to demand anything from a man and have him give up his entire life so she can travel in business class, purchase designer handbags, or obtain designer heels to flaunt to her equally entitled female friends and live a life of luxury. Men can now see right through such women. And it's a sad fact of life in our culture that most women are like this. Women would prefer to flaunt themselves in front of a rich sugar daddy so they can take advantage of his wealth than put in the same amount of effort as a guy to provide for the family. They simply bring up issues of justice and equality. But when it comes to doing the same labor or having the same responsibilities as men, they gently change the subject. As I've already indicated, gender relations are still evolving and always have been. Previously praised and admired for their masculinity, men are now almost universally despised by society. Women who were formerly valued for their feminine attractiveness are now under cultural pressure to become more masculine and shed their feminine traits. Basically, the natural roles of genders are being twisted, and as more and more men choose to go their separate ways, more and more men are choosing to ignore women, which makes women want men more since women naturally crave acceptance and validation. Women want those men more and more while men neglect them more and more. Women crave those men more as more men ghost them. We have all occasionally seen and experienced something that is so evident, thus there is nothing wrong with addressing it. I've started to think about how the dynamics of men going their own way are always evolving. Family, friends, co-workers and society at large are among those who are curious about their reasons for exiting the dating scene, and they must deal with them. The fact is that modern women find it intolerable when males avoid them, ignore them, or fail to provide them with the free affirmation and attention they have become accustomed to receiving their whole lives. By learning more about men going their own way, people are truly interested and have their own understanding of it. Many already hold this belief, while others vehemently disagree with it. Guys believe they have no other option, thus, they are growing more and more autonomous and skilled at disregarding women. Women, however, are only recently realizing this and are unclear about what to do. Women are confused. Now, when a man ignores women, it could remind you of childhood experiences where you were rejected and ignored. Do these women really care about you, or are they more interested in learning why you don't find them attractive? I think wealthy, handsome men who go their own way drive women crazy when they are neglected. You seem to be holding up a mirror to women and reflecting their anxieties back at them. As a result, they feel good about themselves again and try to seduce you because they think they still look nice. Perhaps because women cannot exploit a man's resources, you mecto guys don't annoy women. Maybe it has more to do with the loss of their feminine card if a male decides to go into monk mode. When you are single, they view you as a bachelor, and the loss of just one man, you, means little in terms of protecting and supporting women. Also, if you are singing that song, they could assume you are not looking. That doesn't exclude a woman from randomly appearing in your life and asking you out. Without a doubt, women select men before men select women, not the other way around.
Whenever a guy gets used to or addicted to receiving female approval from one particular woman, he is more likely to seek it out from other women. Have you ever thought that they might be trying to start a future romance by playing the part of feminine concealment and assisting you? So, are women really going nuts when a man ignores them and ghosts them? No, in my opinion. I think that people act strangely when they feel rejected, which is what we mistake for being crazy. I argue that men should start ignoring women, not because it will damage women or anything like that, but rather because men can function better without women. And to be honest, that is exactly what any man who is rejecting to conform to society's standards regarding women will tell you. Guys need to stop treating women differently than they have throughout their lives. That needs to be seen by women from a male standpoint as well. Women should understand what it's like to have a friend disappear from their lives after hanging out for a week and never replying to texts or picking up the phone. You see, although feminism continues to advance and grants men their independence, more men are turning away. If feminists were rational about it and understood that more men leaving the field are merely making them more unbalanced, I think they would really want to give men what they want rather than try to take more and more things away from us. What are the advantages of ignoring women for men? In other words, why are men increasingly not talking to women? It's probably nice that guys can now live in peace without having to deal with argumentative or overly emotional women who start making a scene when men start informing them directly that they're breaking up with them. While awakened feminism taught women that they should treat men equally while they were ignoring and ghosting guys left, right, and center, it is also about equality, as it will provide them tranquility and allow them to pursue their aims and ambitions without any women interfering or seeking to utilize their resources. It is now equally fair for men to start doing the same with women. Take this into consideration, gentlemen. Because they think they have no other option, males are becoming more and more independent and skilled at ignoring women. Women, however, are only recently realizing this and are unclear about what to do. Even the most beautiful ladies who have never been rejected by a man are being rejected by men who go their own way. What changes might we expect over the next five or ten years? Frankly, we are unsure and must wait and see. So, as I've said before, the reason modern women can't seem to stand men not talking to them is because of what they've been taught all their lives. They've been taught that men live to please women and that men live to basically live their whole lives trying to do everything for women, neglecting their own pursuits and goals. Indeed, there are men who do this. Simps and beat us, and BP guys. But that's just a small minority, and these guys live their lives in fear of breaking the standards of society that is already trying to make them as feminine as possible and extract all the masculinity from them. Young women nowadays are influenced and motivated by famous people who only encourage promiscuity and hypergamy, like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. A generation has lost the spirit of what it is to be a woman when the majority of women seek to be superstars like them, and then spend half of their time wooing men online through sites like OF. Feminism has failed miserably, and society as a whole has failed miserably by encouraging female degeneracy and widening the gender gap. Men can now see right through such women, and it's a sad fact of life in our culture that most women are like this. Women would prefer to flaunt themselves in front of a rich sugar daddy so they can take advantage of his wealth than put in the same amount of effort as a guy to provide for the family. They simply bring up issues of justice and equality, but when it comes to doing the same labor or having the same responsibilities as men, they gently change the subject. Thanks for watching the Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.